According to Media Takeout, Carly B drained Offset's bank accounts, removed all her money, left him with scraps. The Carly B and Offset drama is heating up, and it's about to get real ugly. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself, you nigga, because of your album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I'm fucked yet. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your Cardi B seems to be trying to hurt Offset's reputation by making wise financial choices that will probably make Offset lose a lot of money. Offset has been making Cardi look silly on these streets for a few days now. But when he disclosed that Jay is his new lover, things started to change. Tired of Offset's BS, Cardi has filed for divorce, hoping to get her hands on every penny he owns. She isn't having fun here. Is Cardi truly someone who has been secretly supporting Offset the entire time? Because you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. Offset is determined to exact revenge on Cardi B for mistreating her and trying to make her feel horrible about their divorce. And she is quickly coming to the realization that she is not someone to play around with. Though Offset and Cardi B are known for making up stories, and playing games on social media to create drama for laughs. I don't think that's the case in this instance. Their marriage is completely collapsing, and it appears that things will only get worse from this point on. Before you all start berating me for saying it, please stop. Since Cardi B and Offset have been together longer than others, I'll be honest and say they have had more issues than most. However, there are accusations that his persistent flirting, if you understand what I mean, played a part in Offset and other women's breakup. These days, whenever it was revealed that Offset had cheated, Cardi has always defended him. I am rich and self-assured in my abilities. As she put it, it feels like everyone is putting pressure on me to leave him. I know that I can pick any male, but I want to work things out with my partner. I also don't have to defend myself. I conduct my life in this manner. I'll proceed cautiously and I'll decide for myself. Nobody knew what I did, even if what he did was wrong, given that I'm not an angel. Besides, since they keep asking me my opinion, why not share it with them? Is that right or wrong? A guy shouldn't cheat, that much is true. But what specific behavior are you seeking for from me? Then carry on having sex with a different man? Start over and become a victim of fraud once more? These feelings are felt by everyone, and you might be one of them. We all believed that she was cool with being cheated on because different people handle relationships in different ways, and not everyone sees infidelity as a deal breaker. It turns out though, that she tried to keep her marriage a secret from the world because she has long had strong opinions about Offset's infidelity. She tried to act as though she had no idea that Offset would ruin her appearance again. Cardi lost control and went crazy when TMZ displayed her marriage license. Getting married was one of those particular occasions, she sobbed, saying, There are so many moments that I share with the world, and then there are moments that I want to keep for myself. In our relationship, which was still very young and full of breakups and reconciliations, we still had a lot of growing up ahead of us. But because we were so much in love, we didn't want to lose each other. We decided to tie the knot as soon as we woke up one September morning. We did, in fact, Find a possible husband. A dress was all I wore or wore when I said I do. Given Offset's goal to make her look as horrible as possible, it makes natural that she tried to hide it during their marriage. You guys, it got so bad that the internet started calling him off cheat and Offset while he was out there being a cheater and an op to Cardi. Cardi's stunning appearance in this photo confirms her first worry that he wouldn't be able to keep it in his pants. Offset came to light when, when pregnant with her daughter Culture, she tried to set up a threesome with rapper Cuban Doll and her friend. Is there anything you can do about it? It stated, I want you and Cuban. I'm going to New Orleans tomorrow. I'm going to leave right now, everyone. Assume on Saturday that I fly her there. Carney felt she had had enough in December 2018 and made her divorce public on Instagram. Nobody is at fault for the inability to discover a solution for a time. Love seems to have been the driving force for our growing apart. 
even though we are no longer together. However, Offset's dubious information, which purported to be the reason Cardi was resigning, surfaced the next thing we knew. She went on and on, apologizing and saying all the appropriate things. I haven't been working out between us for a long time, and it's nobody's fault. It's just like, I guess we grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. I have not messed with Offset since he's had his baby. Um, I didn't know how serious this marriage was. Um, you know, I kind of read or kind of see things, but... Um, I haven't like I it took until today to actually like get into this um, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, "Yo, like um, I took Cardi B's, or I'm the reason that they're getting a divorce or anything." Like, I feel um, ashamed. Um, the three opponents are acting in an odd way. Offset initially gave them the impression that he was informal, but in the end. He asked Cardi to get in touch with him again. I have one birthday wish, and that's to get my, my, my wife back, Cardi, you know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now, a lot of things in the media. I want to apologize to you, Cardi, you know I embarrass you. I made you look crazy, doing things I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. And I apologize, you know what I'm saying, for breaking your heart. But when that didn't work, he made the decision to go above and above. He so brutally interrupted her entire role in loud performance in front of over 60,000 spectators, pleading with her to come fetch him. However, this was extremely ludicrous and exploitative of him because he basically shoved Cardi's hand to accept him back. Furthermore, it seems that Offset's family does not even recognize Cardi as Offset's spouse, given the ridiculous accusations made by Offset's father on Cardi B's awfulness as a wife following Cardi's divorce filing. Offset's father expected Cardi B to act the part of the perfect little bride and not give anything away when Offset went astray. Despite social media's many benefits, the author argues that family concerns are not appropriate topics to discuss on these platforms. But our young people, particularly my son's wife, don't get it without taking into account the harm that social media poses to other people, past, present, and future, or, more particularly, the harm that it does to children, it seems as though she wants to accept whatever she sees there. The whole thing is a never-ending drama, even though my child has done his fair share of dirty labor and is by no means innocent. He continued by stating that a number of factors, such as drugs, psychological issues, insecurity, mudslinging, envy, and others were to blame for the current state of affairs. Unlike most young people, he is not the type to take advice. But when you combine that with a hot-headed woman who either lives above him or on the same socioeconomic level as him and thrives on attention from social media, you have a surefire recipe for disaster. After all, we are talking about a 25-year-old who seems to have it all. Plenty of money, women vying for his attention, people at his disposal, etc. It actually just helps to illustrate how Offset communicates to his family about Cardi, even though it could come off as archaic disdain. His father should never be allowed to treat Cardi badly on social media. Now since Offset was the one who erred, it's even more apparent. However, Cardi chose to overlook Offset's impolite behavior and returned her to him. Unfortunately, he didn't feel horrible about mistreating her or cheating on her. And things went so bad that Tasha Gay, one of her best operatives, made her seem foolish. Despite their long-standing hostility, Tasha was more than happy to accuse Offset of cheating on her in public. Tasha revealed that Offset has been visiting his home to work on a side project. She claimed to have known Offset from 2013 till the previous year while she was playing the violin at her home in Hollywood. She says her daughter owns the bed she is sitting on in the picture. Offset is currently trying to be honest by saying that he cheated on Cardi B once in order to exact revenge and that she had strayed on him before. He wrote, My wife slept with a man on me. I think everyone is aware of how I got here already. And again about the disdain of the masses. This was made worse by the fact that Cardi had never publicly accused Offset of cheating on her. 
She attempts to hide from him and even comes up with excuses as to why he shouldn't be there, even when she acts out and becomes upset. Therefore, accusing her of cheating on him without any proof was just fairly filthy stuff on his part. But it's nothing compared to what he's doing now. Taking into account that this man has admitted to being truthful and admitting that he is seeing Jade. And this, in my opinion, is the most disgusting thing he has ever done. If you're unaware of Jade's identity, you're not alone. But I have to tell you all why Offset's relationship with her is so important. You can tell that Jade is the bartender that was attacked after Cardi and Offset's extramarital affair a couple years ago. Cardi hired multiple men to beat up Jade and her sister because she was so enraged. Cardi was charged with this, but she was spared fines and jail time. She was given a pass even though she had to complete community service because things could have been far worse. That offset started making fun of Jade again after he and Cardi split up makes perfect sense. The first signs of a love relationship between Jade and Offset were their 32nd birthday celebration, which was allegedly attended by Jade a few days prior. As you can see, Offset is just being impolite. Jay has been subjected to a great deal of negative feedback on social media. She then attempted to deny their relationship by saying, I was out eating at a public restaurant. I did not attend the party that weekend. Please just leave me alone. Even still, not many people bought this. Offset and Jay are reportedly getting along quite well behind the scenes, according to insiders. Cardi was furious and confronted him after finding out. She was agitated by this. If you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face and your fucking face over and over and over and over and over again and she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to, yo, really like to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when, I, when I'm not the most confident. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself, nigga, because of your album and shit. And you really been fucking doing me dirty after so fucking years that I'm up your ass. Not even a fucking debt you that I got for your And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't take it seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm fucking tired of this. Remember how I said before that the Offset family doesn't really think highly of Cardi? Offset's sister Heffa chastised Cardi and publicly backed him in denouncing her adultery. Women really be wanting you to be rich and not cheat, she retweeted, along with an additional statement, just not at all logical. In response, she said, they really are just a man. However, a tweet was made at that precise moment, claiming that Party is the perfect example of a mistreated woman who gives in to every one of a man. Working in a sexually suggestive manner, she helps him with his outside children and added, you know you can't have anyone make you happy. The offset sister responded by saying, it's important to always remember that people tweet and do other things like this. These are people you are not personally acquainted with. She went on, child. She said she was single, describing how her agony had increased unexpectedly. My youngster never enjoys either Christmas or his birthday. She also asked that people stop making fun of her brother, saying, you're going to stop painting my brother in a negative light. As if there were nothing you guys could do to stop the disrespect from intensifying. Cardi seems to have hit her breaking point. She's acting as though she wants to end their relationship at last. She was determined to raise notice to her absence, so she decided to leave Offset broke. Cause listen, no one is shocked that Cardi is significantly wealthier than Offset. Even though they are married to a very wealthy man, Offset may be successful, but he can't compete with her as one of the sexiest rappers out there right now. He hasn't really been that hot since the Maidos broke up, and nobody has been noticing him. Again, I'm not saying he's unimportant or broke just yet. I'm saying that his revenue has dropped and that he and Cardi aren't in the same place right now. Cardi, however, won't stand for Offset misusing her money she took their money out of their bank accounts. It was actually her money because she was the one who earned it all. Furthermore, 
A source claimed that Cardi was the primary breadwinner for the family. She just discusses saving and investing. Offset refers to lavish spending. Cardi currently owns the majority of their cash, despite the fact that they both made a lot of money throughout their marriage. That's what about 95% of it is, after all. Cardi is wealthy as well. There is talk about real estate. Cardi's mother owns a home in New Jersey, but she and the children live in Atlanta. She will be the owner of the two houses. Offset is not nearly as wealthy without Cardi's money as he appears to be. That man is not even as attractive as he used to be, and he wastes money like water. Observe how his life changes when Cardi goes. Offset seems to be having serious financial difficulties, so it will be interesting to watch if Jay sticks with him when he is unable to spend Cardi's millions. Fans frequently believe that he is using her to irritate his wife. Do you think Jade would stick with him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and then check out this next video.